Did you hit it? <laughs> we, <laughs> we need a much bigger fanfare of an entrance. We on? Did you hit it? Did you push the button? Oh boy. Hey everybody, my name's Mark Hill. This is Mark's on the Grill and it's Memorial Day. It's the weekend. Uh, so listen, first of all, where's my thing? There we are. Cheers to uh, all the men and women we, we remember this weekend for making the ultimate sacrifice. So let's get that out of the way first. I won't say Happy Memorial Day because that's a thing. I already got pre-shamed for it on social media. Nobody wants to get canceled. Here we go. I think this is also the weekend to pick out um, your mattress for the next few years. Am I right about that? Is it mattress weekend or is that Columbus Day? It's all, there's a, you never need a good reason to pick out your new mattress, right? But they, they seem to think that every holiday is for one, so I'm going to get these off of here. We're getting into the summertime in Florida here, so our little flying friends like to visit stuff every now and then, so we cover up a little more. So, uh, listen, before I get going here, I'm going to do what I always do and check to make sure that we got nobody screaming, that there's no sound and no volume and no this and no that. Do me a favor. Everybody say hi to Trish. Trish is uh, working the camera. There's little Trish's little wave. We like Trish's little wave. Perfect. Uh, what else is going on? Ooh, we're having fun today. Uh, so listen, between, I think it's now and July 4th, there's like a billion hot dogs that are served, right? With the, you know, uh, uh, you know big Memorial Day weekend and then the July 4th long weekend. By the way, uh, right out of the gate, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We also love to know where you're watching from, and uh, seeing as it's Memorial Day weekend, let us know what you got on the grill this weekend. I'd love to know what you're cooking. Trish, who we got to say hi to off the bat? Mark from Tulare, uh -huh. California. Ben Moore. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's it? Two people? <laughs> Frank. Ben and who? It's a very intimate little thing here. This, we've got this. <laughs> Brian and Kenora. We really get to know each other. So uh huh. Trish. Hi, Trish. Penny, Penny from and, Kentucky. Uh huh. Have a great weekend. Martin Reed from Scotland. Ooh, that's cool. That's we got to You know what? We do this thing where we uh, uh, we we like cook live with people uh, on on our show. We bring them on as a guest, a little split side screen. I think it would be super fun to like to have somebody like in a total different part of the world. That'd be neat. So come on here, guys. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get our whistle dog <whistles> recipe. Thank you very much. What happened? Is it sexy bacon or sexy host? It's sexy bacon. It's sexy bacon. <laughs> Did you not think they were gonna hear that? You have a mic on. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. It's All right. Whistle dog. What's that? The first thing that oh, the to whistle my dog. Head. I got you. Well, guys, here's here's the whole thing with the whistle dog. This is kind of fun. For those of you that don't know or I, care, I, what? I don't know. You don't know? I am from Canada, the Great White North, way up there. And we got a burger chain, uh, a little more popular there than it was here. Although I do see them around every now and then. Maybe there's a part of the country where they're super popular. A and W, right? A and W is a thing, right? Still. So at home, oh, I got to tell you this too. My mom, who I'm sure is, I'm sure is watching, because uh, um, she does that. She watches. She's great. Um, she actually worked at A and W, like I don't know, the, the the late 1800s or something, where they did like the the, <laughs> the the roller skates and came up to the window. I love that my mom was one of those roller skating folks. That's fantastic. And I think my uncle was the great root bear. Uh, in, in one of those, like, you know, super hot suits in the summertime. Just crazy stuff. So we got a little history with uh, with A&W, and they've got, like, a whole series of foods and burgers. It's like the Mama Burger, the Papa Burger, the Junior Burger, the, the Obnoxious Teen Burger, the Whistle Dog, which is what we're doing today. So the Whistle Dog has a couple of, uh, if you want to keep it kind of true to tradition, and, and I almost... I almost heard an earful today, man. I got to tell you, I went to go get buns, and Mum reminded me, top cut buns, man. You got to do a top slice if we're going to do a genuine whistle dog. So here's what you're going to need: some some uh, nice big beef franks, all right? We did the, the like the big ones. You can do smaller ones, but I prefer a little, a little more meaty of a dog there. You want uh, top buns. These are you can usually find these in the bakery uh, if you can't find an actual like packaged one, and then just cut them down the top. And then what I love is right here, get a little butter on them sides, just like that. Uh, you're going to want relish for this, you're going to want some onions, and this is non-negotiable, yellow cheese. We call it yellow cheese in Canada here, it's American cheese. Uh, did we have a Canadian cheese? I don't think we have a Canadian cheese. I have to look into that. Everybody, what? Like curds? <laughs> you're right, you're right, that's fantastic actually. All right, so let's take this guy. Now you want to take your bacon, and you want to make sure that you're going to cook this nice and crispy because you're going to want this to crumble up when we're all done. And then, once this is done, we're going to get into a little bit of bun management. There we go. And I'm going to give you a few tips on getting your uh, propane grill this weekend. Who are we saying hi to, Trish? John Scott is cooking flank steak and cubed pork oh. sandwiches. What's the case? Say that again. 
What's he cooking? Wait, it went away. Oh no! I heard like uh, what are like the pork I, steak, cube steak? Yeah. Oh man, that's a big old Cuban away. dish. I, that's fantastic. I scrolled. Why it scrolled? He scrolled. He scrolled, he scrolled off. All right, let's finish up the bacon here. Hey, um, so we're using a flat top here. Uh, if you're working outside and you got a flat top, that's great. If not, uh, you can bring a pan, uh, you, uh, the cast iron, basically what that is. And if you're working on a propane grill, I, I wanna, if, if you're kind of new to grilling, or this is maybe your, your first season, I'm gonna throw a little tip at you, okay? And we'll get a little bit more into this in, a, in an episode in the future a bit, but I want you to see something here, okay? My barbecue is on low, like super low, all right? My temperature is almost 600 degrees. What in the holy heck is up with that, right? Remember, when you're working with a propane barbecue, there's no kind of automatic on-off temperature control. Even on low, with your lid down, that temperature is going to keep going up. So uh, uh, the, one of the best things to do is get a, a thermometer uh, and kind of get to, we'll, we'll get a little bit more into the specific into this later in the week. And, and, and you can kind of keep an eye on your grill temperature. And then at least for the first few cooks on a new machine, and this is what I always mean by getting to know your grill, getting to tell you its secrets. You're going to know how long it takes to get to 375 or 450 or, or 5 or 6 or whatever your barbecue goes up to for whatever dish you're to do so that that's a good thing to do there i might try that so this is definitely now now hot dogs and hot dogs want to burn they just want to burn it's not like there's a lot of connective tissue in there that slow cooking is going to break down you know what i'm saying so uh if you want to avoid just a black charred mess of a hot dog this is an open lid event without a doubt when you're working with hot dogs don't bother doing a lid down thing it just gets too much to try and work within that three second window of a nice hot dog or a puck you know what i'm saying so uh, the bacon's almost done, and then like I said, we're going to do ourselves a little bit of bun management here, and then we're going to get our hot dogs going. So let's go ahead. Ouch! Who are we saying hi to, Trish? Wayne Akers. Uh-huh. Wayne's always hanging time. around, man. Hi, like mom. Wade. Your mom. The mayor's mom. Loves pistol dogs. Sweet. That means she didn't hear the uh, late 1800s crack, so I'm good. <laughs> Julie <laughs> She's Cowan rewinding from the UK. Now. From where? Nice. This is great that we have uh, real international flair to what's going on here. Penny's doing burgers and dogs. Cool, cool. Mark Hicks from South Dakota. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Buns. So, guys, here's what we did, all right? Uh, now, bacon's great because now we don't have to oil the grill. We're just going to kind of spread this out a little bit. That is one of the nice things about flat top, man, recycling your bacon grease. <laughs> There we go. All right, so here's what we want to do with these, okay? We want to give these, uh, you know, a nice little toast, but it, it's tough. To, you, don't, you don't want to open them up because then they'll split. So a la lobster roll, we're kind of kind of just do them side. Oh, man, the, the bubbling the bubbling so great. So great. Who's saying hi to, Trish? Michael Dale Martin from uh, Fontanelle, Iowa. Excellent. John Kilbride from Portland, Maine. Uh-huh. Is that it? No. Three more? It's, it's weird. The, the, um, uh oh. It's fine. What's that? It's okay. Brett Hillard from Tennessee. Excellent. Hi, Daisy. You waiting in line? John Scott wants to know where you get your t shirts from. Oh, my wife's in charge of wardrobe. She scours the internet. She's fantastic at it. Let me tell you something. She is absolutely the best. Ooh, Les Till is chicken hind quarters marinated overnight. That's what he's cooking. Ooh, what did you marinate it in? We're going to try and keep an eye out for your answer there. That's fantastic. Lee wow. Pierce from Chattanooga. Mm hmm. Mindy Kane, your camera person is awesome. Mindy Kane. <laughs> she's right. Mindy Kane's right. My camera person is awesome. I'm so, hello, Tim. Huh? Tim and Mindy. Oh, come on over here and let's have a peek here. This, this is what a nice toasty bun looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So let's get the other side done here. And then what we're going to do, because we kind of want to steam them a little bit to soften them up. As that side's toasting, we're also going to give them a little bit of steam in there, and then we're going to get ready to do our hot dogs. So let's do our hot dogs uh, over here first. Now, these are split, these guys. See that? So you want to be careful not to open them up too much so they, they cut in half. But with this hot dog, you definitely want to split them. So come on over here. We're going to lay these down just like that. And I want those nice, perfect grill marks. So I'm going to enlist my burger press. I think our buns are probably good. Let me go up there, Trish. You're going you're gonna to cost us our buns, woman. Here we go. <laughs> let's have a look. Yep, perfect. So let's bring those over here. And these are fantastic. Holy cow. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get our other two here, just like this. And then for condiments, it's a relish time. It's a relish dog. All right. Uh, uh, 
I don't know. Do you, 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 we don't use relish that much, do we? I like It's like a really underused condiment. Yeah, I like relish. I got no problem with relish. So let's go ahead and get that going there. Why didn't sound good? <laughs> We've been attacked by an acorn. So have a look here. These are, look at this. Come on in here. You can see the steam coming out. Isn't that beautiful? All right, that little bit of steam with the hood there makes these nice and soft so we can open them up just like that. Oh, that's pretty. And let's get our cheese ready. Oh, we got a second here. I don't think we're burning too bad yet. There we go. I'm telling you, man, Florida is a tough place to work with processed cheese. It gets a little too soft, a little too quick. But, like I said, non-negotiable. That's what you got to have. There we go. Hey, so listen. Um, uh, do us all a favor, hit that uh, like and subscribe, that notification, that follow button, whether you watch us here on YouTube. Over the next couple of weeks, man, we got some great stuff coming up. We really do. Uh, a couple of uh, brand new giveaways coming up. We've uh, we got some exciting news uh, today, actually. Just today, we got some incredible news. Can't share it with you yet, but pretty soon. Trish, look at that. Isn't that perfect? Beautiful. And then let's come on over here and have a look at these. Swing that camera on over. Here we go. And this one will give us a nice grill mark. So listen, whether you like that flat top experience for that full side sear, you want those grill marks, man, alive. Doesn't really matter. You can't. It's a, hard to ruin a hot dog. Kind of tough to ruin a hot dog. Let's be honest here, okay? Uh, who we got there, Trish? Rosa Maria Meadows says with oh, guacamole. Hey. Says what? With guacamole. Guacamole. Mm -hmm. On your dog's probably. <laughs> I've never tried guacamole on one of these. I have. On a hot dog? Mm -hmm. I have never tried guacamole on a hot dog. Not, 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 not a traditional Canadian accoutrement. Is that it? Is that a word? <laughs> but it's definitely something I'll try. All right. So I think everything's good here. We're going to give those a couple of extra seconds. Let's uh, let's give them one more. Let's give them one more little squeeze here. One more little squeeze. You know we, uh, man, we spent this weekend doing a couple of. Uh, Fun maskless stuff, huh? Was this a fun weekend? A couple of concerts. We're starting to we're starting to dip our toes into going out again. It's been fun. We're having a great old time. Really good time. Like I said, guys, uh, throw in the comment section there what you're having on your uh, your Memorial Day long weekend here. We love 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 to hear what people are barbecuing and cooking up. And if we see a really fun idea, we'll feature it on the show. That's always a good time. All right, so let's go ahead and get our hot dogs, put them together, and then while we're putting them together, I'm going to tell you about some of the fun stuff we got coming up. So see this, guys? Come on over here, Trish. When we put them in the burger like this, or in the uh, in the bun, it gives it kind of a little little envelope. That's the that's the cheese receiving area right there. That's what that is. All right. What's that? Doesn't that look good? Yeah. So what do you guys think looks better? The one with the grill marks or the ones with the full-side sear? Put it in the comment section, guys. I love knowing what everybody's into because there's so many different ways to cook stuff you know there's so much there's so much cool cooking equipment out there now it's just like endless the, the, the things you can do so now what we're going to do we're going to take that cheese and that kind of goes right in here just like that this is fantastic I love it and then we're going to take this over to the flat top for just a second now if you're uh, if, if, if you're in the house throw that oven on broil for this part of it because you're going to look for a little bit of top-down heat. But out here, the only top-down heat we're going to get is a little bit of steam. But I do love that we get to use the heck out of our accessories on this one. Love it when we can use the accessories. All right, so guys, here we go. Put that down like that. And this one. These guys, and just to give a little bit melt to that cheese all right just a second there we go nice touch huh take that extra second it's always worth it i promise all right so we got our bacon all crumbled here we got our onions ready to go uh the, the, the dog's cleaned up behind me this is fantastic so here's the first thing i want to tell you guys about um hit that like and subscribe and notification button and uh especially for some of our long time uh, watchers and viewers and listen Keep an eye out on your inbox because we're going to randomly select a few of our viewers. I mean, this is going to be fun. We have a brand new cookbook that we're launching uh, like in the next few weeks here. Uh, we're going to find it on Amazon and the stores, all that kind of stuff. But we also, are, we got a few pre-copies, a few preview copies, like in-hand copies. No digital version or read this, like in-your-hand copies. 
So hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we're gonna, uh, you know, uh, we're gonna ask a few of you, especially some of our longtime ones, uh, if you'd be interested in getting a, a preview copy, an absolute preview copy. Okay, so that'll be kind of fun. And then this will be fun too. This week we're announcing our brand new contest for June. Look at this. We got our cheese just melted here. So there's all kinds of great reasons to hit that like and subscribe, follow us, and just kind of settle in for a nice, fun summer with all kinds of grilling here with the food, family, fun, everything we're all about here. I love it. Oh, and hey, by the way, I did want to call this out because I really appreciate seeing this guy uh, online and all over the place. Uh, uh, I need to give a shout out to Todd Tobin. Uh, he's on the road right now with his Blackstone, and he's uh, he's setting up at Walmarts all over the place, and he's just having a great time talking about all the new equipment and stuff. If you happen to be in an area where you see that Blackstone, uh, that Blackstone tour, go and check out Todd, man. He is fantastic. He's fun. Uh, he really knows his stuff, and I just I, I appreciate how hard the guy works. It's fantastic to watch. So, Todd, way to go, pal. So, guys, here we go. Look at this. We got our split hot dogs. We got our toasted buns, and now the finishing touches. We're gonna crumble. The bacon on top, just like that. I did all right. I think we did good. We 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 uh we honored uh we honored our uh what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Oh uh, boy, I'm just gonna stumble over while I do bacon here. I, I think Trisha's playing solitaire. <laughs> Michael Michael Martin says full sear looks better. Oh okay, that's one for full sear. Excellent. Get a little relish on here. Oh yeah, just like that. Um, Ooh, this is fantastic. Guys, you got to try this hot dog. This is such a good hot dog. Oh, man. There we are. This was like, uh, all, I mean, every every weekend at the cabin, all the summer camp stuff, we do this all the time. There we go. A little bit. Onions on top. And there, from my homeland to yours, is our whistle dog. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Let's have a good peek here. Perfect buns. Oh yeah, big old beef. So here's what I want. You know what? I actually want to want to do a taste test, but I didn't have a knife, so who cares? Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh, there's nothing better than a good hot dog. Seriously. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my goodness. Wow, I was like, this is better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, that's so good. <laughs> All right, so that was a full side sear. Now let's try on the uh, mm, on the gas barbecue. Here we go. Look at that, guys. That's the magic right there. Meat, bun, toppings. Doesn't matter if it's burgers, hot dogs, meat, buns, toppings. There we go. That's nuts. That is so good, guys. You have got to try that. Oh, I'm going to end up eating two hot dogs. Here's off. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Have a safe time with your family this weekend. I hope you're getting together with some friends and uh, everybody who's close to you. Uh, try some different stuff on the barbecue. Experiment out there. Have some fun. Try this hot dog. I think you'll like it. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not sure why that happened. Why are we going to two ends here? What's going on? What's going on there? <laughs> hit that like and subscribe like i said uh we got a brand new cookbook coming out we're going to randomly select a few of our uh, of our followers here on both youtube and facebook to see if you'd like to get a, a copy ahead of time before anybody else to have a look at it let us know what you think uh and other than that we got our draws coming up that's a big one and next oh boy saturday or sunday we're going to do something really different on the show here uh you're going to want to see that uh, so guys my name is mark gill this is marks on the grill those are whistle dogs man try those out catch you next time Well, no, now you're supposed to turn it off. You're walking around with a hot dog now. <laughs>